All set and ready to go. The Napoleon Lady Wildcats at UD Arena looking to finish what they started as they take on Vinton County in the Division II state final. Napoleon gets right on the board. Kaylee Ressler, offensive stick back, 2-0 in favor of the Wildcats. Then Taylor Strock, the nice cut to the rim. Strock gets the lead up to seven early on. Then it's Emma Pedroja. Nice move down low to the bucket. 14-8 Napoleon at this point. We move to the second quarter. Sophie Chips dials up distance. Left corner three ball. Good. 17-10 Napoleon. And then Strzok. Same spot. Deep three. Bang. Napoleon pushing tempo. Callie Hedberg gets it in transition and scores. Napoleon, the first 22 points of the game before a timeout by Vinton County. Hedberg comes out of the timeout. Right as she steps outside the line, hits the three of her 16 points. And four minutes to go here in the second quarter. It's Wrestler hitting the pull-up J. 27-14. Wrestler would finish with 18 on the night. Just after halftime, it is all Napoleon. It's Strzok, drive, gets the friendly roll. Napoleon cruising at this point. Then it's Pedroja. Drive. Gets the tough bucket to go using the left hand. Napoleon at this point then gets another steal. It's Wrestler. The easy bucket. The Wildcats up 15 at 37-22. Strzok from outside again. This one will go Splash City. She finishes with 23 on the night. Strzok again from the corner. Another triple try. 50-27. to Napoleon on cruise control. And Strzok again. She's like, I'm going out in style. Out of bounds play works to perfection. 56-31. Time expires in the third. Napoleon finishes the job with a 76-44 win. Redemption and business complete finally after being shut down in 2020. After the game, we heard from Coach Corey Kreinbrink and his victorious Lady Wildcats following their state championship victory. Uh, first off, uh, congratulations to Vinton County on on a fantastic season. Uh, they've had they had one of the the better tournament runs that you're going to see. The teams they played, uh, they played they beat Circleville, um, Dresden Tri Valley, and then you know Sheridan. It's three games to get here, and then they beat you know a, a extremely talented team in, in Laurel yesterday. So uh, one heck of a season, obviously, but but their tournament run was was one for a, a phenomenal one. Um, and I want to make sure that uh, we give credit to them. Uh, we talked about uh, today in our walkthrough that um, really the last two years we've always kind of thought about what's next. Um, you know, for me personally as a coach, wins have been a relief um, and losses have been terrifying. Um, and we've always thinking about what's next, and especially in a tournament. Um, you win a game and you're just you're, you're looking forward to what's next, what's next, what's next. Um, and we finally got back. We got back to the regional. Right, we won a regional semi. OK, we got back. All right, what's next? We got a regional final. Got back to state. We could finally play. Um, we won yesterday. Um, and then what's next? And we finally got to our last um, what's next. So um, we didn't have any more left. Uh, we had nothing, no experiences or anything to lose today. Uh, we want to just go play loose. Um, nothing was next. Uh, this was our last what's next. Uh, and we just wanted to, to lay it on the line and, and play good basketball. And i um, extremely happy for the kids uh, to be able to do that. And um, it's the best we've shot maybe all year, but especially the last couple of months. Um, they, they've, they've earned it so much for the last four years. Um, they figured out how to win basketball games. And, and I said it yesterday, uh, I get way too much. I've gotten way too much credit over the last two years. Um, these, these three around me and, and the other ones in the locker room, um, they figured out how to win basketball games. Um, they figured out how to cover up my mistakes and, and they, they know how to make plays. And, um, as good as basketball players, they've been, they've been better people. Um, and, and you know, the, the best part about all of this is, uh, we had a ton of, of elementary kids, girls and, and junior high girls, um, that, that are, that really love basketball, um, sitting in the stands today and, and throughout the season. Um, and, and these three are a big part of that. So, um, you know, obviously what they've done in the last four years has meant a lot, but um, I think what they've done for the future as well is, is going to mean a lot more too. Corey, 
Um, it, it's, it's, I'll just use this, the old word that we've been using. Oh, it's, it's been surreal. Um, you, you, you dream about being in that situation, um, and to be able to, to be able to do that. Um, and we, we certainly would have taken a one one point win, but um, to, to be up a, in a lead in a situation to take them out, um, they, they got to, the acknowledgement that they deserve, um, and, and to be able to, to be in that situation is just it's just surreal. Uh, well, we had 15 turnovers, so I'm not super pumped about that. Um, and, and and we missed a ton of free throws, um, but um, you know, we just, they, kids just keep playing. Um, you know, we we just wanted to play well today, and to be able, I think, to be able to play our best game of the tournament, um, and to, to be able to really almost play the best game of the year um, in, in a state championship, um, it's just deserving of the kids uh, of what they've put in. Uh, our schedule has been a grind all year to try to prepare um, for for the tournament, and not only prepare for the tournament, um, we we had to play different styles of really good teams. So when you play different styles of really good teams, um, when you get to a tournament, you don't have a lot of time to prepare. Um, you can go back to the season of this is like our game in Northview, this is like our game with Perrysburg, or who, whoever you want to go back for as far as defensive scheme or, or offensive philosophy. Um, you can kind of compare teams, and that kind of helps you prepare faster. So um, uh, I was I probably wasn't the, wasn't the smartest move to, to schedule is, is what, what we scheduled this year, um, but we wanted to be prepared to prepare for the tournament games if that makes sense. And um, you know, and especially you know this weekend we play yesterday and we got 24 hours to, to get ready for a state championship game, the biggest game program history. Um, we kind of just had to go back to um, you know some some past games and we just wanted to just play solid defense that we've been working on for four years. Yeah, I mean that's 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 how it has to be. That's that's how Napoleon's got to be. Um, it's a blue collar community. It's a blue collar school. We got blue collar kids and families. Um, we, they just come and work. And it's not just been girls basketball. We've had a heck of a winter. Um, we, we won NOL and in swimming. We won a couple NOL titles in bowling. Um, Jeff can. Correct me when it, when when I miss other things. I think wrestling got second. Um, we've had ki we have kids that work really really hard, uh, and they compete like crazy. And you know we, we need to get something from everybody. And we've got multi-sport kids, and we've got kids that really just care about each other and they care about our community. And um, that's how Napoleon has to find success. Um, it's just working really hard and, and competing like crazy. And, and we've got a lot of kids that do that. And and um, you know our roster is filled with those kids as well. So uh, you know that's how we're going to find success uh, is doing it together and um, that's how we'll keep trying to do it going forward. Um, yeah, during the walkthrough we were talking about how this is like our last time putting on these Napoleon jerseys and you know that just really made us emotional but we also knew we have we don't really have a lot to lose. Um, we, this is our last game so we just have to show up. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of similar, I guess, to last year. We played nine or ten kids last year, and we, we everybody could kind of make plays, and um, you know that that's that's how we have to play. You know that we're at our best when everybody's contributing, um, and, and everybody's kind of knocking down shots and and finding a way to score. Um, that makes it really tough. I mean, any team that has 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 more than two or three, even three, um, you start getting to four or five kids that can make plays. It makes it really really hard to defend. So um, that's that's when we've been at our best. Um, you know, we you know Taylor has been 
a, a leading scorer for us so many times. But you know, Kaylee's been up there, Cowley's been up there. Um, really, I think all of our kids have been been up there and a leading scoring for us at different times this year. So um, it makes it it makes it a unique situation for us. And, and to be able to have multiple kids that can make a play, um, it makes me makes me look a lot smarter as a coach. Um, and when we make shots, it makes it makes everything a lot easier. So um, it, it's a blessing for us, and, and it's a fortunate thing for us, and it's something that we're able um, to kind of take advantage of. Uh, obviously today, but really throughout the year. Um, I think that, you know, any one of us had the potential to have a good game today. And so I think it comes with just having the right mindset going into the game. Um, you can only do what you think you can do. And so um, I also just didn't put confidence in myself. I just trusted God because he put me through so much, um, really my whole life to prepare me for this moment. And I, I never knew it, but he was. And so um, I just rely on him. And the best part of that is I can just show up and play. I don't have to worry about anything else. feels amazing because um, really that was just our only goal. Like that was our main goal. And so when you have all those other things that build up throughout the season, it's great. But you're always just thinking, OK, I want the state championship, though. So you just you don't really appreciate all those little things that lead up to this point. And so I think that once you get to this point, you really just appreciate the journey and everything you went through. <laughs> I mean, it means it means so much because, um, you know, you can be good in sixth grade, you can be good in eighth grade, you can be good like your sophomore year, but I think every single year we just kept getting better. And I think part of that is we just really value our relationships with each other. We don't just care about basketball, we care about, you know, how we treat each other off the court. And so I think that that also plays a major role. I mean, it's just a culmination of a lifelong dream. I think we've talked about this since third, fourth, fifth grade, and just to have it come true and in the way that it came true with everything that happened in the past year and it getting taken away last year, it's just all the emotions of everything that we've been through came out in that moment, and it just felt so good. Yeah, it was awesome because really only they know what we went through last year and um, they know that we've been working for this moment and they were working for it too last year. So just to bring it back for, for them because they missed out on it and to help let them share in that experience, it was it was just felt so good because they, they missed out on it and we just wanted to bring it back for them. Um, it was crazy. I was kind of scared that I was going to get hurt, if I'm being honest. But um, no, we were all super excited. I mean, we keep saying it's it's unreal. I mean, I've been going to state basketball since I was little, and I'm sure these two have as well. So just having that moment, like watching it when you're a little kid and thinking, oh, I want to do that, and then actually having that happen, oh, it's crazy, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was kind of a mix-up on that because we actually did take another picture. Um, I sent it to Kaylee, but she thought I was printing it out, but I thought she was. So, so there's a picture. <laughs> so there's a picture, but no, no, they're not going. <laughs> <laughs> it's a story. We'll we'll leave that for next year. <laughs> we can we can pass it on. Yeah, we'll pass it on. <laughs>
Um, I know OHSA has been communicating um, with our AD Andy, Andy Ham about um, some possible things, and, and yesterday was in between quarters. They wanted to acknowledge them, and, and they said if, if we had won, if a team from last year had won, that the seniors could could come on the floor. And um, I don't know if I was allowed to let them cut down a net or not, but but I did. Um, so, but. Uh, it, there has been a communication this week. Um, I know OHSA has, has tried to do everything they can to, to, to try to help mend so, so that, that situation from last year and um, something that obviously they had no control over. And um, but we, we're very appreciative of, of everything that they've tried to do. And um, uh, really cool to, to have them a part of that because they, they were a part of this year. They helped set expectation for us of, of we expect to compete and win every game. And and when you have that that mindset, um, it, it makes it takes care of so many things. Um, when you don't have to worry about an, an intimidation factor, or you don't have to worry about um, or being scared of a moment or a certain team. Um, when you go into a game expecting to win, um, then then you can start preparing um, in, in different kinds of ways as a coach. So they help set that kind of tone um, last year, coming into this year, and um, it, it's been a big part of our season because of the schedule that we've. Played. Oh, we had to rebound. Um, we rebounded. They missed some shots, uh, and then but we, but we rebounded, and then we needed to do a better job of, of t securing a rebound and getting it into the open floor. Um, we were trying to dribble around everybody, and, and they keep they keep everybody around on a rebound, um, and, and they're really good at getting their hands on balls. Um, so we're trying to drive through traffic, and, and they're getting they're creating loose balls and, and creating opportunities for themselves. So we, we talked about we were really just looking down the floor, not trying to dribble through the traffic, and but we had to first get a rebound, um, and then, and because we did that, we got a lot of layups, um, and, and then we got some momentum, and, and we knocked down some open shots. So um, we kind of got them scrambling a little bit, but I think it started uh, because we. We really rebounded, and then we took care of the ball after we rebounded. Um, and then once we kind of got going, it's just a snowball effect that um, you know we got rolling there. It's, it's, it's going to be really hard to stop. Um, yeah, I think that's always the case because we just have so much confidence in each other that once one person knocks down a shot, we, we feel the momentum shift our way and um, it just it just becomes contagious. So um, when everybody started knocking down shots and feeling good, then I think everyone benefits from that. It definitely does. Um, I think this whole tournament run, and this whole season, but really the tournament run, um, you really had to focus on just enjoying each game. Because obviously we didn't know um, what game was going to be our last. And so um, it was really, we really tried hard to just enjoy each game um, and just keep the right mindset on stuff. And it definitely, it definitely brings us closure. <laughs> Final game. Uh, <laughs> um, I that's um, I, I we didn't know that at all. I had no I had no idea what the record is. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, another just just another surreal thing and a, a cool mark um, for this team to leave. Yeah, you know, Larry Wash just told me every day that the, the floodgates are going to open here one of these days. And he's been telling me that since the beginning of February. Um, <laughs> and I keep telling him he's crazy and it's, it's not going to happen. So um, if there's a time to have it happen, um, I guess we, we waited for the best for last and uh, we'll take it today. When we've got kids that can knock down shots and can score, uh, we've we, we just been struggling to, to find consistency with that for the last really three weeks. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly take it today.
Thank you. Thank you.